Right, if you are struggling with rotation in any way, whether that be restriction in movement or basic understanding of what rotation should look like, then today's video is absolutely perfect for you because you'll do two things. We're gonna free up a lot of movement to allow you to rotate better. We'll also show you a way of storing energy within that backswing, getting better rotation, releasing that club head, and effectively hitting longer drives. There are three elements to the drill that I'm gonna show and run through you with in today's video. And it's important that you stick around and wait for all three because my drive started with uh, drills one and two and looked something like this. And it wasn't until we introduced the third element of this sequence that I then started to hit a drive that was effectively the longest drive I've hit for quite some months. How did that happen? What is the sequence? Well, let's get a ball teed up first of all. What we are looking to do is you may be restricted physically, whether that be an age thing, whether that be a flexibility thing. You may also not quite understand how rotation feels. And once we go through this drill, just to take away the feeling of what rotation is, you feel that store of energy and how it releases through the swing. Very, very simple as well. All we're gonna to do today, take your normal address position. Once again, we're not looking at the swing mechanics at all. We're just looking up at a freedom of movement and concentrating on one element of it, that rotation bit. Now rotation for me is if I sort of turn and get to the top of my backswing, that's probably a decent position for me. Now at this point, what I'm feeling is a lot of strain on my left side. I'm also feeling that is about as far as I can go in terms of rotation. And why is that? Well, because basically I've got no flexibility to allow me to move any further. That feels like a good position. But then what happens is from a video that I watched some years ago from Danny Maud, he looked at a couple of movements that can allow you a bit more room, a bit more uh, movement in terms of removing the sort of back foot back a little bit and creating a different line in terms of your angle of your swing and it allows a freedom it allows movement so you've all of a sudden when i get to that same position again withdraw the right foot as being a simple first movement and all you'll see is my rotation now is able to extend quite significantly and that's all because all we've literally done is cleared the hips a little bit so where i was square and then a lot of rotation was really needed out of a fairly stiff torso all I've done is took one foot back I've still stayed very much everything else has stayed square to the target but it's just allowed me to turn out a lot more now what I feel now is I feel in a lot stronger position at the top of the backswing and I feel like I've created a sort of coil which as we know can then be released into what effectively is longer drives now that's point one and this is what happened, like I said, what I found was, withdrew my right heel, the swing that you'll see me make was good. I felt as though it was a long ball. It was a good connection, but that swing plane I created got me a little bit flat and inside. And it also meant that I was sort of, I delivered the club head, perhaps a little bit open and hit the ball out to the right. Now, as ever with testing the tips, the idea is I test the tip and give you my feedback. So there was no immediate result for me from just removing that foot backwards and creating that turn. In fact, it caused me a bit of a problem. Now, I don't know what that problem was, but I can assure you that points two and three certainly eradicated that and hit that super long drive that I referred to. Now, it's point three in the main, but I'll briefly mention point two, what Danny talks about. So we've got our right foot back. We've created a lot of clearance for our hips. He then talks about the head movements and the restriction once again, that if I swing like this, once my sort of left shoulder comes to my chin, I'm pretty much stuck. I can't go any further. What Danny talks about is again, tilting the head slightly to my right, which means my left lead eye is over the ball. 
what that gives me once again is just a further a little bit of additional movement to get the the, uh, the shoulders turned and rotated just that little bit more now i've got to admit i don't find that a particularly comfortable exercise it's not something that i could introduce to my game once again that's personal feedback from how i dealt with that situation so i would move from that but this key element was item number three and what made all the difference in stopping me blocking the shot out to the right and instead hitting what was a slight right to left but an absolute bullet of a shot and to be honest with you the drive i hit was 50 60 yards further than the one that was blocked out to the right so what is it all for that right leg back I've got a great position and I'm feeling really strong and like I said I was driving down perhaps a little bit on the inside on the takeaway and like I said it ain't perfect I'm not showing you a perfect swing I'm showing you my interpretation and looking back I seem to be a little bit flat but then when I got to this position I felt like the club head was coming in slightly at an open angle and Danny talks about that possibly being a problem how do we eradicate that through that impact position you want to feel like that the toe of the club is then pointing to the left pointing to the left so in other words we're kind of rolling through impact a little bit turning the wrist and as you can see my club head is pointing right of target but the toe is pointing very much left of target so all we're doing effectively is closing that face through impact and all that simply does is a, a very much a, a mental concentration that as I'm coming back through I've got to do one thing and that start to turn the toe and to also encourage me to rotate through the shot so it does a couple of things I get my chest through and I'm starting to face target because I'm encouraged to roll those wrists through a little bit you've also got to be careful don't overdo that it takes a little bit of playing with and it takes a little bit of tweaking but that shot that I hit I swear to God was so encouraging in terms of the distance that I managed to achieve it was so so good and so so enjoyable because I managed to store energy that I'm not doing right now so just to reiterate that point all we're going to do pull the right foot back if you feel comfortable tilt your head and look at it with sort of left eye onto the ball and give yourself a little bit more a little bit more room like I said, I wasn't particularly comfortable with that, but I understand the, uh, the, the, the idea, the notion. But all you're going to do is you come back, and then when you're going through to that release, it's then a case of turning that club head through, sort of moving off that back foot, and trying to get the, um, the toe of the club very much pointing off to the left hand side and all it really does it makes perfect sense all you are doing effectively is closing that club face down a little bit squaring it at impact and like i said be very very careful not to overdo that but they're very very simple very very effective and i think even if you didn't want to work with sort of turning that toe in even that ability to get the storage of the rotation i can make little tweaks to my setup in terms of alignment to still work with that and i still think it would be a much more powerful swing than a lot of people are able to adopt due to their restrictions and lack of flexibility lack of movement and the final thing is even if you use this as a practice drill and we did this in an earlier video in a different thing from alex elliott even if you use that element as a practice drill and just understanding the feeling that you get in terms of decent rotation it's just a great feeling it's something that you can then take to the golf course and start to work with right that's me done another episode of testing the tips thanks as ever for your support thank you to danny maud for a video that is like i said perhaps a few years old now but as they say the oldies are the goldies and that one certainly worked for me and one i suggest you go out and try for yourselves on the fairways thanks for watching and i'll see you all soon